How to make viral AI selfie videos with VO3. I'm going to share the only prompt template that you need to create viral selfie talking videos that you can use for content creation, marketing, and even TikTok shop. So on my screen right now, this is a mega viral TikTok shop video that brought in millions and millions of views and tons and tons of sales for the creator. So it's on mute right now, but this entire video is AI generated. And in the next VO3 clip, you're going to see the product that he was promoting for followers. Day. And again, this video is 100% AI generated selfie talking video and brought in so much money for this TikTok shop creator. I'm going to show you two different ways to create these selfie talking videos. One of them will be through my app, Blotato, and the second one will be through Google Gemini VO3 directly. Let's start with Blotato. This is an app that I built to help myself scale as a creator. So I just click log in here. On the left sidebar, navigate over to videos, which is where you're going to see all the videos you've created. Through Blotato, you have access to a dozen AI image and video models, including VO3 Fast. So to create our first video, go ahead and click Create New Video in the upper right corner. Click From Template. So what this means is you're going to use a pre-built template that already does a lot of the prompt engineering for you to make the videos a certain style. So I have one template for AI selfie talking video with a consistent character. And all you have to do is fill out the scene for each clip, what you want them to say for each clip and then the character description, which you can either describe through text or you can upload a reference image. For our first try here, we're just gonna leave everything as is. So you can see the scene description. You have a lone traveler. He's saying, welcome to my journey. I'm gonna take you through some breathtaking places, realistic visual style. And the text description of the character will just be a young adventurer wearing a weathered cloak and carrying an old leather backpack. So go ahead and click create video. And when it's done, you're gonna see a preview like this. Each of these pink bars over here corresponds to a VO3 scene. And you can see that the character is pretty consistent throughout. It's not perfect by any means, but it's really, really good. Go ahead and click on one of these pink bars to see the prompt that was used. Okay, so I'm gonna walk through exactly how to use this prompt, but first let me play the video so you guys can take a look. Welcome to my journey. I'll take you through some of the most breathtaking places I've ever seen. Hey there. This forest is one of my favorite spots. The light filtering through the leaves is just magical. And here we are at the ancient temple. It's been standing for centuries, holding countless stories within its walls. Now, if you want to recreate one of these scenes, let's say you don't like it, all you have to do is tweak the prompt here. So for example, if you want to change what he's saying, find the section that says dialogue here and just tweak the text here and you don't have to change anything else. Then click regenerate to create a new variation. And once you're happy with the video, you can go ahead and post it directly to social media from here. Just click create post on the top right corner. It'll take you directly to the publishing section. Now, what I want to spend a lot of time on is the prompt itself. It's a little bit hard to read in this smaller area. So I pasted the full prompt over here. And what the template does is it takes the text you want the character to say, the scene you want your character to be in and it generates this really complex detailed prompt template so that VO3 can get it right on the first try instead of having to regenerate 20 times to get something you like. So here's the prompt template and it takes your character description which could be provided as text or you can upload a reference image and it takes that description and makes it consistent throughout every single prompt that's used and that's how you get that really nice character consistency throughout the selfie talking video. So you can see in this prompt there's actually a ton of information just about how your character looks so the rough age gender facial features hair color nose lips jawline any distinctive marks on your character's face the voice accent what are they wearing atmosphere the time of day the camera the motion the style the ambiance special effects what are they do for this particular case for a selfie talking video we want the character to hold their phone at arm's length in kind of selfie style looking directly into the camera, small gestures, and talking directly at the camera. The voice, accent, dialogue, this is where you want to edit what you want the character to say. So if you just want to change what they're saying, all you have to do is change this section here. And then other elements that are particular to the character and the entire scene. So the traveler's cloak is dark brown with a patched hood, an old leather backpack, worn leather gloves, etc. So this is a very detailed prompt template. And again, 
and you don't have to edit this directly unless you want to. Remember when you created this video in Blotato, all we had to do was fill out kind of a form of what we generally want. And then Blotato takes care of the rest of the prompt engineering by creating this prompt template. Now you can also copy and paste this directly into Google Gemini, right? You don't have to use an external tool outside of BO3 Fast. So to do that, just go to gemini.google.com, okay? And then paste the prompt here, just like I've done. And then you're going to get a video. It's pretty realistic and consistent with the three previous videos that we made, right? So I showed you these examples within Blotato using VO3 Fast. This is just doing the same exact prompt, but within Gemini. Now let's make another video and I'll show you how to fill out that prompt template form. So click create a new video in the upper right corner. We're going to choose that AI selfie talking video templates. And then we're going to fill out this form. I'm going to make it about me. Sabrina stands in a serene rural farm chased by a cow. <laughs> and then the narrator text is, hi, Sabrina. And I like to teach millions of people to use AI. So that will be the first scene. The second scene will be atop the rim of a volcano, lava spewing forth behind her. <laughs> it's really fun making AI videos in my app, Blotato. And let's see if AI is able to get the pronunciation of my app correct, but everyone should try it. Okay, stands inside a mysterious tell actually upload an image reference my headshot and these options by the way if you click save as draft it's not going to actually render the videos and that can be useful if you kind of want to make tweaks to the layouts or maybe switch one of the video clips to a different most people will just want to leave this enable render video after creation so it's actually going to make the vo3 clips without having to do anything else this process by the way takes a couple of minutes but you don't have to do anything else you can navigate somewhere else and explore in in the meantime and while we're waiting I'll just talk about this prompt a little bit more so you don't have to go in and manually edit this right you can copy paste this entire prompt and tell chat GPT or Google Gemini tweak this prompt with the following things that you want to show that way you don't have to go in there and like manually find the correct sections to edit I would just recommend using this as a template for your prompts whether it's vo3 or honestly any other text to video model or image to video model as well this kind of JSON prompt templates will work really well. By the way, you can copy and paste this prompt from my newsletter. So to my newsletter at sabrina.dev, you'll be able to see this post right here and copy the prompt directly from here. And here's our final video where I uploaded my image as the reference image. And again, you can see the entire prompt template here is pretty detailed. Let's go ahead and click play. Hi, my name is Sabrina and I like to teach millions of people how to use AI. <laughs> it's really fun making AI videos in my app, Blotato. Everyone should try it. And here we are at the ancient temple. It's been standing for centuries, holding countless stories within its walls. And just out of curiosity, I copy pasted this exact prompt for the cow chasing me and put it into Google Gemini as well so we can compare. Oh, well, I mean, and I like There's to teach millions right of here. people. You can also do things like have me running away from the cow slightly. So if you wanted to add that kind of motion, if you want to edit out some of kind of like the silence when you don't have a lot of text to say, right? Everyone like here, should. She stops talking quite early. So you may want to drag this to end earlier and then you can just click this x button and it's just going to remove that extra space in between the clips so that they'll be directly and here back we to are back. and here's a video directly with google gemini and i like to teach millions of people how to use ai really really good you could definitely use this within social media so just to recap, here's the prompt templates you want to use for these selfie talking videos. You can have ChatGPT or Gemini tweak this prompt template depending on what you want to show. And then I walk through two different ways to make these AI selfie talking videos. You can, of course, use Google Gemini directly. Go to gemini.google.com. You can use it directly there. Or you can use it in a third-party tool, for example, in Blotato, where we already get that nice 916 formats. And then you can instantly publish it to social media. If you enjoyed this video, hit like, hit subscribe, drop a comment below. Look forward to hearing from you.